so uh, anyways, as I was saying earlier, when no one was watching, uh, I was saying earlier I used the same tools as you, essentially the same commands and stuff, to uh, make all these 3D models. Um, except I do use a back-end utility called record. Anyways, and I use the uh, the same commands you do, except for a couple of extras, so you don't have a text a text command or anything. Um, anyways, um, let's see. But uh, essentially, it's the same thing. So, like when I type I, uh, type pause center p o s, then uh, you get the same thing. Um, I get the same thing as you would get if you typed pause p o s space center in the chat. So, uh, let's see. Um, right, I was saying I, uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted. Okay, um, so, yeah, I was saying I use these, these tools to make models, like, for example, um, the bat model, which you might have seen, it's like often running around and stuff, various stuff. Anyways, um, I use the same commands uh, you do to make things, um, for instance, like the box command. And I just type box, and uh, so you don't see what it said, but it, it, it says, if you type box in chat, it will give you the same thing that, that I just saw. Currently it says, uh, place box with box me, or box search word. Just type box me. I'm going to try that. And then it says, uh, what does this say? I haven't read this in a while. Place up to nine with, I have to type it again because it scrolled off. Place up to nine with um, X, it gives you the X syntax. Um, box search word like box blue or box grass. It says uh, build upward with box me up, which I know sounds funny, but you'll get used to it or eastward with a box me east and you see you get it um, and it says place up to nine with box me south x9 um, so think of that as box me south times nine okay um, so for example, let's try that. I'll say a box, oh, by the way, you'll notice when I typed box me, then a box of me, although actually not me, but let's consider this to be the, the iconographic representation of me today. For the purposes of this discussion, I will be uh, the doom guy. Okay, so uh, it says if you do a box me south times nine, which I just typed in, and you'll see it on the screen there that it'll make a row of nine boxes, see? And they're all with the me texture. That's what's really happening here. We're making boxes and we're using the me texture. There's a special texture called me. And, uh, and, and, and if you type it, it won't be, it won't be me. It'll be you, and if it's, but there's no box you. Hmm, anyways. We digress. Also, it mentioned uh, that you can do, uh, uh, it says build upward with box me up or eastward with box uh, me east. So I'm going to try that. So like box me, box me up. And you see there's a space between all of these and that rule holds true throughout the, uh, the system. Okay, so just excuse me. Used, yeah, see that's what I'm distracted by. There's some... Uh, Heavy metal. All right, uh, let's see. Box me up. Uh, and you can combine these with directions. So, for instance, uh, box me up uh, north, uh, east, times uh, nine. Right? And you'll see it on the screen. I didn't do northeast, although I'm, I'm working on supporting that syntax. But it's north space east uh, times nine. <coughs> And you'll see that you uh, you get there a, a diagonal 
diagonal line. Moving through space, space, space. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the center of the world. You know, I've done this demo like a billion times already. I'm like running out of uh, inventive, innovative ways to do it. You can also do, um, what kind of other stuff can you do? It also mentions grass. So like I'm going to do box, grass, um, up, uh, west, uh, times six. So do you see what I did there? So I replaced me with grass. Hopefully by now you're getting, you're picking up the basic syntax. It basically is, it's box and then, and then the color or texture or whatever. And then if you want it to go in a direction, you can do that. And if you want it to go in, you know, build in a line, you can add an X or a six. Don't add, you know, an X in the number. Uh, the number it has to be within, for, you know, from one to nine. Um, I guess it could be zero. That's like doing nothing. But um, some people can build more, but, but you can probably just build up to nine. But you, obviously, you know, you can repeat that as much as you want. Don't do like box grass times six, unless you're going somewhere, then it, it, there's no point. It's just going to build six objects in the same spot. Um, another one of my favorite ones is lava. Um, times five. Okay, so I did um, box lava south down times five recorder. It should be evident uh, that you know, this thing has been designed in such a way to accommodate, accommodate the fact that you're typing in in chat or most likely using a, a mobile device. And most importantly, the very limited uh, editing capabilities there for like if you make a mistake, you know, you'd have to type the whole thing over again, right? So, um, and also I've made it so that you can talk to it is the idea. So I've tried it and uh, I'm trying to make it accommodate that use use case more. Um, so if you have like, you know, voice dictation or whatever on your, um, on your phone and you're using the YouTube mobile app, then you can turn on the voice dictation and just speak to it, you know, box lava south down. And uh, I'm going to make alternate syntax. So there's already an alternate syntax. For instance, you could do, uh, like, uh, as I said, you could do box white west, and that would make a white box to the west. And there it is. And, uh, you know, obviously it's, uh, obviously there is a stream delay, and as I've mentioned before, the whole, the whole thing is about accommodating these unique constraints, and yet providing a compelling opportunity to be creative. Um, okay. So, it's a box white west. Um, like, if you don't want to type west, you could just do W, right? So you do box uh, red W, and that'll build a red box to the west. Um, I know sometimes the camera is inconveniently located, and I'm working on that better camera camera stuff right now. We can't see the box that we just built. Uh, I'm gonna build a bunch going up. So box red uh, west north up times six. And you'll note on the screen what I actually did was uh, box red west north up times six. Mm -hmm. um, see, so you can you can do W instead of west and, and also the order of the directions doesn't matter but it has to be like box and then texture. If you do like box west red um, that doesn't do anything yet. Uh, I'll work on supporting all of these various syntaxes. Another alternate syntax, if you're really keen, uh, is slash. I think that works here. I'm not sure. Um, nope. Never mind. Uh, well, check out the chat. There's some other syntax there. So you'd be like, wow, I mean, are these all the colors or textures? No, it's not. So type textures and... Uh, and the textures will appear on the screen. Da -da -da -da. There won't be a fanfare when you do it, but uh, you, you can provide your own fanfare. Now, note that in the live stream, uh, which is always live and always on, um, you, it's rewind is enabled and, and as well as pause. So you just pause it 
and then like look at these at length and go, oh, okay, these are like the ones I want to use. It disappears um, shortly. I'm keeping it on keeping it on the screen at the moment, so I can kind of mention a few of the notable notable ones. For instance, um, oh, um, many of these come from various texture packs, and the credits will be provided. Um, uh, pretty soon. Actually, they're going to be provided when you use them, which is really cool, I think. Um, so, there is, uh, for example, uh, um, cobblestone and cobblestone with moss. There's dirt, three different versions of dirt. There's glass and black glass, blue glass, green glass, magenta glass, white glass, uh, various colors, orange, purple, red, uh, indigo, blue, black, uh, if you uh, like concrete, moss, bark, uh, mud, jungle, uh, which is like a jungle type of tree texture, uh, lava, which uh, is like my favorite, mist. There are some translucent and semi-transparent. Uh, that's the same thing. <laughs> Textures in here, such as uh, water, mist, uh, smoke, uh, and the, the glass ones, and some other stuff in there. Anyways. Um, Let's see, but you might be thinking, hey, Birdman. No, sorry, I'm not Birdman. <laughs> Obviously. Um, you might be thinking, like, hey, man, that's not uh, enough colors. But, you know, like, I mean, you wouldn't phrase it like that, I'm sure. But uh, let's go back to the center. Again, you type pause center to get to the center. And as pretty much throughout the whole entire bot, if you want to know how a command works, just type pause or, or just type the name of the command. Uh, I'm beginning to learn that some of you may not be familiar with this convention. But uh, that's that's what you do. If you don't know how a command works, just type it and, and then read what it tells you. <laughs> and it will tell you how to use that command and follow those instructions. Um, so anyways, pause is just one of the many commands. Uh, I'm only focusing on the sandbox, but there's a bunch of other commands you shouldn't be distracted with at the moment. We're just talking about the 3D sandbox functionality. Ah, geez, did you see that? The dude guy came like right up in, right up in our faces. Um, okay, so um, and it tells you that you can type pause center, and uh, um, you know to put yourself in the center. <laughs> Where is the center? Well, when you type pause, actually, if, even if you you type nothing else, it, it tells you what your current build position is. That's what we call this, the build position. This is the place where building will happen if you start building stuff. So if you start doing box commands or whatever other kinds of building commands will be available to you by the time you watch this um, video. Anyways, uh, if you type, uh, it gives you some example syntax. Again, you can always feel free to use that. That's a good start. So I'm typing like pause n e up times three and you'll see it on the screen. And uh, and it tells me, well, my name in the system is Recorder, but when you do it, it will tell you, the bot will respond, and it will give you your current build position after the move. So you don't really need these numbers, but if you want to know where you are because you're like planning stuff out or whatever, then those will be convenient. Um, obviously, you can combine these with all the modifiers that I mentioned before. Oh man, my, my box disappeared. I'm sorry, that's a recent glitch. Please forgive the glitches. System is under very, very active development. Okay, so pause uh, south down times five. Pause south uh, down west times five. Da -da 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 -da. So you can combine that with all those modifiers and it will move you five steps down, just as if you were moving, you know, in terms of boxes. And <clears throat> That's the basic model here. You're going to build in terms of stacking boxes, um, you know, or, or laying things edge to edge. You're going to move in terms of the size of boxes, and so this way you don't have to keep track of coordinates or anything like that. Now, uh, advanced users, if you want, you could uh, use, you actually can enter the coordinates if you prefer. I don't know why you would want to, but uh, there are instructions for doing that in the pause command. Now to clear the whole sandbox, um, I, I type reset. However, um, and this is currently wide open to all users, but in the future I think the sandbox will probably reset itself. 
either on a schedule or due to like aliens invading. <laughs> what? Aliens invading? Yeah. Let's take a quick break here. We're going to do, um, what, what is it? Uh, alien attack? I think it's called alien attack. Uh, no, it's not. Hold on a second. It's actually a build script, is what they're called, but they don't have to merely do build stuff because so aside of just making blocks, you can move things around and delete things and load models if you have saved them or if you have access to them. There's a library already of, I think, about 40 models, all of them built with this, you know, in here, built inside the system. And there are commands to do that. I won't cover how to use all of these features yet, and they're not all exposed to um, build scripts yet. But each user does have their own build script, and every user has their own individual everything. Some users have access to these, uh, um, to run these scripts. They, they'll be limited to various levels of user access. All of these are build commands that you can use in your build scripts. Basically what it's doing is it's loading sections of, of pre-made road and, uh, and building out a road up to a temple and then it puts the owl god, or bat god, sorry, bat god, <laughs> bat god, uh, bad bat in the, uh, um, in the temple. And then it flashes its eyes red. And so yeah, you can do all of this with your own scripts and your own objects. Got the alien attack sequence and stuff, the alien comes in and uh, he's huge, but he's gonna like scale up. There's a scaling feature you haven't seen employed yet. Our plan is to have um, uh, little aliens come shooting out of tiny spaceships and then have them like scale up to be really huge. So uh, I need a spaceship. Um, the reason I'm, I'm doing this, like scaling them up, is because I don't, I don't want to make a giant spaceship. So I intend to make like the smallest spaceship, you know, I can possibly come up with. The traditional, you know, um, you know, UFO style, uh, you know, corny B-movie UFO style. I don't even need like a source image because I, I got it in my head. Okay. Uh, so, what I like to do, I like to be in the center, but you don't have to be in the center. It just makes it um, convenient for me to figure out where I am. And be careful, because there's no delete yet. <laughs> and there's no undo. Don't screw up. Um, so, I just sort of plan it out in my head. I'm like thinking from the bottom up, like it's sort of in layers, like you're doing a 3D printer or something. So, if you have a 3D printer and you've spent thousands of hours with 3D printing like anyone with a 3D printer has, then you are at somewhat of an advantage. So think of it in like slices moving up because you're going to build it with boxes, right? I think these out in my head is what I do and that's what I recommend you do too. Or if you have like a little like graph paper or something, you, you can kind of sketch it out, you know, that's what I'm kind of doing right now. Yeah, there's no like really convenient way to do three, um, like to do three legs. So I think I'm going to do four legs coming up, right? So my plan is to do like, do this. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to position my built cursor, my built position up by two. Wait, no, I should have done by four. So I'll do another two. this work. What I'm going to do is there's going to be like a little lid, I think. I mean, no, a little pointy tip in this thing, but it's going to be inside the UFO anyway, so it won't matter. It'll be like one extra block is what I'm worried about. Okay, so the thing is if you build things in a line, if you just remember which direction you went and to go back, you just re like reverse your direction. It's super easy. I'm thinking of working in a command that will like save a position and then you can go back to that position. I don't know. We'll see. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Did you guys hear that thunder? That's what's been distracting me. Uh, I live in the boonies and when we get these flash storms sometimes there's this strange weather today in California. Sometimes there's power outages so it's entirely possible I could lose this this recording. Anyways, let's get back to the grind, as it were. 
Uh, I think I'm going to use, let's see the textures again. What should I use for the little legs on a, a UFO? If I were really smart, I'd build the dome right now, but uh, I'm just going to do the legs first and make it easier for me to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Let's see, what textures do we have? We got, I have a little tiny screen here. That's like 15 years old. With pixie stickers on it. Uh, what about glass? Glass might look cool, huh? Um, what would they really be mad at? Some sort of metal. I don't have any metal textures. All right, note to self, get metal textures. Metal! Not that kind of metal. Oh, I do have metal. It doesn't look very metal, though. In the, I mean, in the literal sense. It does look kind of metal. In the metal sense. Hmm. I'm gonna find you something like, uh... And then box melt down uh, west box melt north west down times three pause south east up times three. Oh, um, I haven't pointed this this out in this video, but I do often point it out. You don't have to wait for commands to come back either in the chat or on the video stream obviously I don't wait they're they're queued up in order and stuff just it, it handles it don't worry about it so if you already got your plan together just just you know do it just go push forward northeast down times three having not learned my lesson pause um, mm, 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 south west up times three I should make a song out of that. Uh, box metal. Oh, it should be a metal song. Box metal. Oops, sorry. Box metal. South, west, down, times three. That's like country. Never mind. This is not working out. West, down, times three. I mean, the plan's working out that the country music career is not working out. Pause, north, east, up, times three. Almost done. Box metal. Box metal. East down times three. That's the last leg, so to speak. Pause. North west up times three. Okay, now we're back in the middle there. Now let me think about my next steps here. I was talking about adding little footsies to the bottom. I think if I'm going to do that, I'm, I'm going to wait until after I built the saucer section here. But I, I think it would look better with them, huh? Oh, and I do have this really cool plan to have like uh, them blasting off with uh, with the uh, you'll you'll see. This can be like effects fire, fire. Um, let's see what does maybe there's a really simple way to do the top of this thing. I, wanna, I don't want to do like a big round circle. Circles are a problem, you know. They have to get kind of big. I think if it's like a little bulbous structure, like if there's a box here and like one, you know, kind of like a die or like a, a, a raspberry. I don't know. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> it made sense in my head. Oh, glass. It should definitely, now I get to use the glass texture. Good. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting a vision of what this should look like, and I should be one layer down. Yeah, okay, I'm getting this is this could look pretty cool. Okay, and here's the thing. Oh, all right. So, by the way, those lines I haven't covered this stuff because it's remedial. Um, it's in the other videos. But the uh, red one goes west, and the north one, uh, the blue one goes north, and the green one, well, shut up. <laughs> Quiz for you, where does the green one go? Um, okay, I have this idea, here's my idea. I'm going to use um, that glass one, the blue glass 
Gallows at GL underscore BL you down and to the west to sort of bracket the, the little um, hip area here maybe I could use different colors that might be cool is there a let's see the textures again is there a red a red glass I didn't include like every texture under the sun that I could find um, it runs on a Raspberry Pi. Space is limited. It's supposed to be a redistributable kit. I don't want people to have to rely too much on mm, third-party stuff. Um, magenta. We got magenta. And black might be useful. Maybe shoot black and blue. Yeah, that might be kind of striking. Huh? Glass black and the glass blue or blue and green or green and pink hmm. I think it should probably just all be blue all right so if you're really clever you don't have to like move around you can make boxes as I said before the way you can append a direction so box GLBLU um, to the south and east and just one box right to the south and east incidentally you you will notice when you make a box uh, it tells you how many objects were created so if you're like typing x 1000 and it says one then you're probably getting a clue as to what's wrong now can't make a thousand boxes i mean you can but nine at a time and you're welcome to make a thousand boxes that will give me some nice view time which I really need um, to get anywhere with this. So northeast to the northeast is one more spot. I want to fill in there, and then box GL BLU. That's real, also. Shit. Yeah. See, I told you we live in the boonies. Fires are real. Like fires a problem. Um, power's a problem. I like actually worry about. Uh, Bad weather. Rovetter. It's not any better. Uh, I'm leaving a space at the bottom there because that's where the um, that's where the uh, exhaust is going to come out from the um, jet engine, alien engine. Okay, let's see. On the inside, I'm gonna have a green dot. I wonder if I have anything that. Back to the textures. I'm looking for something that has like green in it, but isn't completely green. And I could put it in the inside, and it will look when it's surrounded by glass and other stuff. It might look like, hey, what's in there? And then aliens start popping out. So this is just using the minimal capabilities I have already here. I could use leaf. Oh crap. Turns out the real disaster is my own drink and just spilled it all over myself. Let's see what I've got. Slime, green, leaf, jungle, grass. I do observe there is a uh, green glass. Oh, by the way, if you just want to change the thing you have, you just do box, just type box there again, and it will just replace it. No, you may not layer boxes. Some of you really clever people are thinking, I kind of can. And you're probably right. Let's try leaf. If maybe jungle might be fun, but it doesn't look bright enough. Okay, leaf, jungle, or slime. Okay. Um, I actually paused. I paused it so I could do 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 do. And no, I don't have to redo this work. I can. I'm going to export this model. Here, actually, I'm going to run that command right now. Just in case I lose this. <laughs> UFO base. It's called bottom. I mean, not base, because that would be something else. SP save UFO bottom um, is the command. You might not have access to this command. Um, it's going to depend on access levels, and kind of like I said before. Okay, so to the south and up. I'm just going to move there for convenience, although I don't have to. 
I do know some people probably for, prefer to just like move the position there to be absolutely certain um, of it. Let's see. So then I think right here I'm going to put the slime, slime box. And some are, since I'm already in that position, actually it looks kind of cool with that. Fuck it, should I use the head? I could use the doom head. I could do a box me right there. And then the doom head would be the head of the alien thing. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. Oh shit, I have a viewer. Hey, hi. Sorry, um, I'm like, a, my, most of my screen is covered up because I'm doing this, you know, recording, the, uh, making this thing on the screen here. Um, by the way, re rewind is enabled, and I've explained how I how I got all this this far. And you just type the same commands in chat as as this to make stuff. So I was figuring. I think I'm going to make the rest of this shell out of glass. And like I was saying, my my plan is to not. That's a rail train. That's not sound effects. Sorry. It's to not like make a huge bubble because they're a pain in the back. But. Um, Let's see, how few pieces can I do this in? Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to do a box, glass, should it be blue glass also? Blue, uh, geo blue, uh, west. Okay, so there's a blue glass box to the west. Or did I say this layer would be made out of uh, regular glass? Um, hey, by the way, shout outs to my viewer. Hey, I think I recognize that. Yo, know, I recognize that avatar, uh, profile picture or whatever. By the way, there's a new command to convert your profile picture to, um, to, uh, you know, like the Skinner model. If you haven't seen that, that one's really cool. Just type, uh, I think if you have access, you type, uh, type a SB load Skinner, um, like, uh, Principal Skinner. Oh, I get how this is going to work. Okay, I got it. I see it. It's coming. It's coming uh, out visually, in the same way that like you know a painting does when you're working on it. Okay, so yeah, I'll just put like blue glass all around the green thing, and I'll leave the metal parts where they are. See, because I, I like to minimize the number of parts, just because that's just smart, anyways. All of these sounds are real environmental sounds, by the way. <laughs> there really is someone yelling in Chinese in my house. Okay, uh, northwest is the last one in this little layer. So, yeah, you'll see like what I was talking about before. It's um, it's a little like 3D printing. Like I think about it as building like layers going upward or something. Okay, so then there should be a blue glass box up here south up I didn't really have to go there first I could have built the box on the way but I wanted to be sure and so this I think should pretty much do it yeah I think I got my I think I got my alien vessel you know I'm not so sold on that green though here's what I think I did I'm gonna change the green the green slime to a couple different things see see if I like it I didn't don't know if I covered RGB colors uh, that's how you do them <laughs> you type box and then a space and then the RGB uh, color and uh, there you go. oh yeah that's perfect yeah I should just go straight up bright green okay should I add the little legs like I was talking about okay so here's the trick this is the cool part I hope someone's here to see this because this is the best part um, okay, so I'm now I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this as UFO. I do SB save UFO. And as I said, you might not have access to these commands yet, but inevitably everybody will be able to get access to them. Okay, and here's the cool part. Now I can make like a bunch of them. I can do like pause north west of times eight, right? So I'm going to move my built cursor. And then I do SB load UFO. And, uh, Bing, there's a UFO. And then I can do pause down south times seven. And SB load UFO. And then like bing, there's a UFO. You get it? So 
that's how this that's how this whole scheme is going to work. I know you guys are probably thinking this like this is impractical, really. I mean, do I sound like a total moron? And I don't think I'm going to like not have a plan for this. Um, so, and I do load invader, and bing, there's a space invader, and right, get it. So this in this manner, I can, you know. Um, now I'm going to run the Temple of Bat. Temple of Bat. You get how this works? So we'll like make the models out of parts. Or you don't even have to make a whole model. It could be like parts, like just UFO leg, right? Or robot arm. And then that way you could, you know, like reuse robot arms and, uh, and not have to make stuff over and over again. That's the idea. And uh, I know you're thinking like, hey, can I move it around and stuff? And But yeah, you've already seen that in the Alien Invasion, which will be coming up shortly because I, I think I'm done here. And I got to go pick up my uh, Tascam recording. It's out there um, covered in a, a little bit of plastic. And the thing has fantastic condenser mics, so I just got some fantastic storm footage or audio tracking so cool hey i think that alien will do for the alien invasion so the next time you see the alien invasion um they're going to come out of these ufos it's going to be cool man so thanks for checking this out if you like the project pre please tell your friends it needs all of your support and uh we are looking forward to having you back here again soon um uh, I have some really cool stuff coming up for it. Really, really, really cool stuff. So in s instead of, uh, aside of only being able to build stuff, you're going to be able to share your models with other users and share and save entire scenes and export them to yourself so that you can keep a copy um, along with the, the code. I'm hoping along with the code to display them, you know, so and uh, so anyways bunch of cool stuff like that planned thanks for checking out the project and uh, I do apologize for the bad my notoriously bad mic skills uh, I hope it wasn't too bad for you and I uh, hope to see you all back here again soon take care as we say around here uh, stay true stay low monkey out